G'day viewers, well, as well. Had a busy day yesterday but took the engine out of this white car that showed one of my previous videos. This is the engine out of it. Had a bit of a repaint when it was installed. It's an EV6 Saginaw. It's made in Saginaw, um, Wisconsin apparently. It says in the block up there. Got the bottom end off it here, so be very careful. But yeah, that's the inside of it. Now, yeah, you see these little conrods here are pretty good. There's end caps, are, um, big ends are pretty good. But look at this number three here. You see, it's got a bit of um, a bit of a hot, oops, a bit of a hot spot there. That's that's the one that the bearing actually spun on. The bearing actually, you see, right here, and a bit of the bearing is still sitting in there. That's part of where the bearing clips onto. You can see there, so it's got stuck in there and snapped off its clip. The, um, yeah, it's spun on here but there's no serious damage done yet, it still feels pretty brand new, I can feel the original machining. That one is pretty good. That's what they're supposed to look like, very shiny and new. I get a light and give, try and get a better picture of that. Okay viewers, there you go. The balls look pretty damn good in this engine. Of course you don't get touching them either, there's a fan at the hardware yesterday but yeah. That's at a hundred and not even, well apparently just not even done a hundred thousand k's this engine. It's pretty much brand new. But the cam and the lifters are pretty damn nice. See the bearing, there's a bearing still left there whenever it took off. You see the bearings are supposed to look like very clean. There's a bearing here. Yeah. That's number three cylinder there. You can see where it's got a bit of a um, grey spot to it. It's kind of grey, it's like, yeah, it's been hot. Well that's the one, that's, that cylinder, this piston here is the one that the bearing actually spun on. So, you see the rings there and there, they look pretty damn good, that ball looks pretty good. That's the oil pickup, oil goes up there, there's a camshaft and a roll of lifters there. That's a timing gear goes in there. Let's see it back together carefully, this rag. Cover it up, don't want to get any dust in this. Let's do this off camera for a second. There's the front half yours. There's the camshaft. That's the balancer shaft underneath the rock, underneath this some. You take this in there, manifold off, you see the balancer shaft under there. Timing chain goes in the crank. There's a little thing in the camshaft that times it. There's a little timing marks there, but that's all gonna be done apparently. Got a little timing chain and everything, the tensioner that goes here replaced. It's got a slight amount of wear on it, but it's going to get the bottom end fixed slightly more as well, replace all there. It's been sitting for a while, so I might have a bit of condensate for, looks of it for some of these spark plugs. There's a right um, iridium, so they've got a good little small point tip on them. So here's a bearing Z of that number 30 cylinder. As you can see, I'll try and get a good view here of the camera and the light. It's actually spun, you can see it's a bit started to let go there. So this little clip here is what holds those bearings in. Of course when you're hooning it, these tend to let go and they just spin. And the thickness of that bearing ends up being that much added to the stroke of the piston. Which can actually end up hitting valves, so that's not a good thing. This is the other half of that bearing. You can see all the scoring on the bearing. Well, that's what the crank looked like, except they had a fine build-up of um, bearing on the crank, which has to be um, f uh, machined and reground to fix it. You can see at the other end of it how hot it got. It's actually turned black. But yeah, all that's just scoring. It's picked up put a, quite a big um, yeah, crevice in that. It's cavitated. I think that's how they go like that. That clips in, you can see kind of there where it slipped. It's like a little bit of a nick on the end of that where it slipped off. Yeah, that's actually been pushed and pressed in. And yeah, it's pushed to the side a bit. It's actually ground that off, so lucky there wasn't any damage done. The crank only had minor damage to it, so only in that cylinder. So that will have to be re and it should be fixed, hopefully. But yeah, I even see where the oil journal hole is supposed to be. 
there was bits of um bits of this in the oil journal hole but not too bad don't know where the hell's the um oil journal holes all blocked up in that bearing then again that's a wrong bearing anyway that's what the bearing's supposed to look like that's a good bearing that's a bad bearing you can see the difference Not what these are made of, it starts with B, it's got a mixture of hard and soft metals combined. But yeah, you can see the difference between a good bearing and a bad set. But yeah, you can see that's where I use to stick it under the um, cup, that's some sort of adhesive or something like that to put on this so it sticks and it stays on, and that clip just holds it on. But I don't know how the hell that looks, okay? And this is stuck in the previous engines that got blown up before in that sump of that previous engine that got blown up, yeah you can see this bearing got mangled when it snapped the rod it's got cut and thrown so yeah that's done quite a bit of damage there all the parts are under there which I won't go and touch with that because it will protect it from the dust there's a starter motor with V painted. Everything's there, so there's a sump, oil part assembly, all the rest of the engines under there. So, bit of carbon out, a bit of condensate because it was sitting for so damn long. Get the top of the piston there, top of that piston, and you see the top of that piston. There's the top of the engine. So, yeah. That valve's open because it's the way it's been turned. Um, the engine's been turned over. That's the top of the engine at the bottom. Put a bit of oil leaking at the um, oil filler cap. And a lateral play in the uh, axial play in the steering pump. But yeah, this engine will go again hopefully. Crank re and a few other things and new bearings, it should be fine. It's probably this I think this will be um, either the spare or going in that red car. So yeah. Got the good spark plug leads and everything and that's yeah, done very little case. So yeah. Let this be a lesson to you. You have to have a Commodore on your thrash it all the time, especially if it's that engine has. <laughs> that's what can happen. Which should eventually lead to this and a smashed con rod and probably a hole in your block. So it's got a spun bearing and a bad knock. That's what it is. That's a spun bearing right there. So yeah, best not to um, run an engine. Probably best not to run your engine at all, or even just even idling, okay? Because that's what it's doing. It's that crank is just grinding on that bearing. It could be like. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that in the cups of the bearing, but it actually turns and loses grip and yeah, just eats it away. Machines just chews up your crank and makes a mess. So yeah, it's best not to run your engine if it's like this. The back sides are alright, so the piston um, big end part of the clone rod that bolts on the, together on the crank didn't get eaten away, so that's good. So yeah, but you can see by the colour of that. It got very, very hot. That friction leads to heat, which is a bad thing, so don't thrash your um, or run the, an engine out of spun bearings. That's what you're doing. You're eating it alive, so yeah. And of course, I just showed before, that's what a bearing's supposed to look like. So yeah, that's very little wear on that. So the engine's done a very little case, but yeah, that's how the, um, that's what a spud bearing looks like, so yeah. The crank's been taken in by the way to get fixed, so I can't show you that. It looked pretty similar to that bearing anyway, except with a big score in the middle of it, so. I got a bit of, probably a bit of sanding on that, I don't know. I could like have probably a millimetre at most taken off. Hopefully it's not, the damage isn't that bad though, so. Yeah, that'd be a lesson to you. Do you have an engine like this that's knocking? 
to and um, run it because it did yeah, a full damage especially if you want to fix it so yeah thanks for watching